Hi guys, I hope all is well. Today we're going to continue our series. So this is going to be the fifth video. We are using My Little Pony figurines as inspiration to fill in our My Little Pony coloring book. This is specifically the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic glitter sticker sketch portfolio set. So that's a mouthful, but it's really great. It came with a ton of stickers. Uh, it has six markers included as well. So if you've seen the other videos, we have already colored three um, ponies from the My Little Pony figurines that I have here. So this is Applejack. We drew her. And then we also drew a pair together in two separate videos. So Shutterfly is here. This is the figurine that we used. And this is Flower Wishes. That was for this pony here. So for our next video, sorry about the loud noises. You can hear, I think it's an ambulance in the background. Anyways, we're going to do this pony here today. So it's the same style of photo as we use for Applejack, except we're going to use this pony today. So this is the Sunset Pony. I think she's probably my favorite in terms of the way that she looks. I really like the fiery orange color, the orange mane, and her symbol, which is the sun. I think she's probably really, I don't know, I think she's just super, super pretty. So I am going to begin with the stencils. So I took the stencils already out of the packaging. If you'd like to see a more detailed view of these stencils, you can go to the first video where I opened up this set and I talk about these a little more. We're going to take our markers out of our package. So the six markers all together taken out. And we'll go back to that individual photo right here to color her in. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do her body in orange. The orange marker that we have might be a little bit dark, but I think it'll work out fine in the end. So here she is. Let's look for a mane that is long and beautiful for my favorite pony. So here's a tail we might be able to use. This is a big fluffy tail. I like this one. Maybe we'll even use something a little different. Like this one's a little spiky. This one's more cloud-like. Let's look at a photo of her. <coughs> So here's the photo that they give you in the picture from the packaging. So there she is. You can see her there. Her tail looks quite curly. So we'll try to mimic this photo. Oh, and she also is the only of the five that I have right now. She doesn't have wings, but she has a horn like a unicorn. You can see it there. You can also see it on the figurine. So that's kind of cool. It's a little different. So it looks like she has red hair and an orange body and blonde hair also. And her eyes are like a green blue, maybe a little more blue colored. So again, so it's kind of curly. I think we will go with this tail here. So I'm going to do one part of her tail in yellow to do the blonde and the closest color we have in these markers to red is the pink one so I'm gonna have to use the pink 
Maybe I'll go over it in orange after to make it look a little more red, but we'll see how it looks. So here's the yellow going in to do the bottom streak. There it is. Try not to move it. And I'm going to grab the pink one to go over this side. So there we go. So that looks pretty good. Then, what we will do is, we'll do her mane also. So, we're again going for something in the photo that was kind of big and curly. I'm going to take out a different stencil. I think it looks the most like this hair here, probably. I think that fits pretty well or actually maybe even better this one has more like a ringletty look we use this on a on um, Applejack though so maybe I'll do this one a little different okay so we'll do it this way so I'm gonna do this part in red and I'll leave this part blonde and the bottom part in in orange uh, and red also so here's the blonde one, this is a little bit big for this pony I think, but we will make it work. Go around her ear and up like that. So there's that part. And then we have this part on the bottom. There you go. You can always draw your own hair on the ponies if you know you don't really like the way the stencils are but for the sake of the video I'm going to show you how to draw all these ponies in <clears throat> with the stencils that are given to you so there we go I think that looks pretty good it's not really orangey enough so I'm going to color in her tail in pink and then go over it in orange and hopefully that'll look closer to our red color What do you guys think? Does that look pretty good? It looks, I think it still looks too pink. But let's do it together. If you guys really enjoy coloring, um, I would suggest getting this set. It's really quite good. The markers are doing really well for me. So there you go and we're gonna take our orange marker now and we're gonna go over it so that hopefully it looks a little more red So I think that color that we get now is closer to this reddish streak. So that's good. Thank <laughs> you. 
There you go. <clears throat> so the goal of this series is to really show you what you can do with this set, but also to show you how to draw these ponies as close to the look that they have in the figurines as possible. I only have five of them right now, but there are actually 24, which is a lot. So um, I'll be doing a lot more videos where when I find and collect the other ones, we'll be able to draw them all together. And I think we, they will all be able to fit into this one book, but we'll see how, how it goes. So I'm just coloring in the gaps that the stencil leaves in blonde. <clears throat> And I'm going to do this streak in blonde. And there you go. The nice thing about the hair that we chose is that I'm going to draw her horn now that goes on her head. So we're going to try to, it's pretty small, but it's like a triangle like that, little round at the bottom, and it kind of spins up like that. So the hair, the gap here allows us to show that, which is nice. And we are going to draw the design that she has around her eye on the outside. So it's the sun, but even more specifically, it's like red on one side and kind of yellow on the other side. So we're going to draw that in right now before we color her in. So we're going to have to do use the pink again and then we can <clears throat> use the orange afterwards to make it look a little more red. So we're trying to do like flames on the outside of her face. So there's one half. Color those flames in. And on the other half, we're going to use our yellow marker and we're going to color the other side of the flames. So there you go, color those in. I'm just doing this by hand because I didn't see a stencil for it. So I think this way we'll get the closest that we can to the way it looks on the pony here. So coloring over the pink to make it look more red with our orange marker. And there you go. <clears throat> That's about as close as we're going to get to that color. So let's color her eyes in. Her eyes in this picture, or in the figure, look quite blue. So I'm going to trace over her eyes like this. Maybe they're a little more green, kind of turquoise colored. So we'll go over that in a little bit of green. That looks a little bit closer, but kind of dark, but that's all right. That'll be fine. So there you go. Now we're going to color in her body before we put the stickers on her. So we're coloring her in with our orange marker lightly. So there's her ear. We're going to go between the flames, just being careful not to color over the flames.
<clears throat> so there you go. And then down her neck a little bit. Color in her back and her chest, her back leg, down the arms, <clears throat> this part always takes a little while, but it looks nice when they're all colored in properly. Don't want to take too long because don't want this video to be super, super long. So there you go. Show you the coloring a little more up close. There she is. And now we're gonna flip to the front where we have our glitter stickers. And we'll see, I'm sure they have some with suns or flames. Uh, I think I saw one last time. Oh yeah, there it is. That one looks very close to the symbol she has in her body. So we will take that one, or actually this one's even closer. That's really what it looks like. So we're gonna take this one to stick on her back leg. And I think that's the only one we might use today. Um, actually, I'm thinking I'm going to use this sun here as her charm necklace charm. So I'm going to take that one off. So we have one small one and one big one. Go back. And there she is. So here is our sun for our sunset pony there it is sparkly on the back of her and I'm going to stick this one in front as her charm for her charm necklace so there you go and I'm going to draw the charm necklace on her in pink And there you have it. I think she's basically done. I think it looks pretty close, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending some time with me. If you enjoy coloring with me, please check out the other videos in this series. Um, and stay tuned for more as we finish drawing the rest of the figurines in our My Little Pony sketch portfolio set. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.